Now the roofers have gone, the kitchen roof is finished. There were a couple of little bits for Tony to finish off on that. And then he did some odd jobs, mostly cleaning jobs. I also had to do a lot of cleaning because when the roofers were here, I took a load of stuff out of the kitchen and then it got dirty and then I couldn't use it. So it was time to get to grips with it. Also, there's now some plants in the greenhouse, so I'll show you those. And I'll also give you a sneaky peek at part of the building I've never shown you before. Enjoy the video and please do give us a thumbs up if you do like it. jobs again now where the roof was finished that was the metal sheets were just here and Tony's blocked it in with some plasterboard and some insulation because obviously our heat's gonna go straight up there this is the kitchen ceiling and he's put some insulation in the gaps for the time being and because it's like a corrugated pattern on the front there was draft coming through so he's spray foamed all the edges to stop any drafts coming in and to stop our heat disappearing so he's been doing that and he's now moved on to some other odd jobs one of Tony's next jobs is jet washing the steps because these are the steps going up to the unicorn suite And the, and the platform along here as well. So now we've got a nice shiny roof, we need to tidy this up. Well, it's sort of shiny, still got a few footprints on that roof, Tay. What? Got lots of footprints on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they'll wash off eventually. Hmm. So what's the problem here? I want, to connect, I want to connect this yeah. to this. Okay, does it not just... Oh, it can't go straight in the end, can it? It wouldn't be long enough. That's what that piece is. Okay, so what's the problem? It's not working. I don't know how to connect it on. Oh. Uh, what is that piece over there? Is that a what, connecting piece, piece? That piece? No, it's not. Well, does that not come off of there? Yes, I've had that off of there. And it, no, it doesn't connect up. Oh, okay. Are, are we missing a piece? I don't know. I don't think so. I've been in the workshop and looked around. I can't find any other pieces. What's that for? Okay. Um. Well, that's the same as that, isn't it? Uh. Uh. Well, the truth of the matter is that I really don't know. So, we're trying to connect this to the jet wash. This is the brushy thing. Hmm, some good, nice cobwebs. Anyway, it's a bit of a puzzle. I thought it was raining, but <laughs> no, it's not. It's Tony. Oh, am I going to get wet? Yeah. Tony, can I come out? <laughs> anyway, Tony's busy jet washing along the balcony there. Tony, did you realise you left your jumper on the chair down there? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's a bit soggy now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Tony's left his jumper on the chair. That's all wet. I'm going up to see how well it's working. I mean, we have jet washed this before. Tony's wet jet washed this before. I shouldn't say we, should I? Because it's never me. <laughs> I 
Is it making a good difference? Clean, dirty. Oh my words, yeah, look. Oh, that's so different. Can I have a quick go then? Yes. Wow. Yeah, you can definitely see the bits that Tony's done and the bit that he hasn't got to yet. Look at that. Well, I'm going to get a go now. So if I just press this trigger, is that it? Wait a second, let me just move this back. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Okay. But what I've been doing, so we don't go all up the wall, start here, just quickly wash this because it's not as bad, right. and then just go that Can way. Can you just film it then for me? Just. Yeah. So I'm doing it here, along the wall. Well, really, I've, I've touched something. It's got my face in it here. Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah but they, they just whooshed that quickly off of there. I don't know the wall's getting wet. That, that do? No, not right close to the wall. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 look. What then? I'm cold dead. <laughs> I never do, right? Look, I don't want it um, sprayed up here. Spray it oh. off of here quickly. And then go this way. That's what I was trying to do, but yeah. Okay. Let me do it then. And then get a pet. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Terrific. Alright. You touch. There's the buttons. Right. Hold it like. So I should be able to. No, no, no not at that angle. Like I that. Want, no, pointing it away from the wall. Yeah, yeah. That's there. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know how, how am I look, meant look, to point look. it away from the wall? That direction. Like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Backwards. Yeah, not. Yeah. That's it. I'm not very good at this, am I? No. I can go that way. Convenient. Stop over here and then you're wishing it that way. Yes. This gets in the way though. Look at me, my glamorous mind. Start at the back and push it forward, you see? Like this. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting wet. Yes. See? Like that. Yeah. But it's just doing a very thin line when I do it like that. Right, here you are. It's not better to do it. Like that? Yes, it is. I'm from away from the wall. Though, isn't it? Yeah. Can you make it so it goes bigger line or is that just No, I've tried all sorts. Okay. Had enough? Had enough? Don't just to keep squirting in the same position. <laughs> Have this. You want me to give it back? You go over there where you're better filming. Did you film me? Up.
he's still on a mission with the uh, pressure washer. Pressure washer. <laughs> Doing well though. Yeah. Hey. Lots of sludgy sand and leaves. Yes. But I want to show everybody what you've already been doing. Oh, we've got a bit of a, a mucky puddle here. Does that not drain away? It is draining away. Oh. Very slow. slowly. Slowly. Yeah, okay, there's not away. a drain down there, is there, apart from the one that goes into the ground here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me, let me have a look at your nice clean bits. Who uh... are. <laughs> Wow. So we've got a one last wash down to get rid of all the spray. Yeah. It just makes such a difference, doesn't it? Oh, yes. But the stone on there is already and clean. It's a very pale stone. Very limestone, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite soft, actually, because they're quite warm, these steps. You see the amount of wear that's gone onto them steps. Yeah. Years. Yeah. <laughs> it's by, just by people... Anyway, so... Obviously, before and after. Yeah. It looks a bit, yeah, grotty, horrid, sparkly clean. Well done, Tony. Wow, befores and afters again. Yucky mucky. Yeah. You're doing well, Tony. Yeah, <laughs> and it's perfect weather for it. It's lovely and warm. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'll make us a cuppa. Good. Right. Welcome to my greenhouse. Obviously it's not finished yet, but I'm using things that I've got at the moment, which is that plant rack. Now these straggly looking plants have come from indoors. Where I overwintered them, obviously before I had the greenhouse. I just kept them indoors by a window but they don't get so much, so much light so they're a bit struggly but some of them have survived I think these two down the bottom here which were peppers I think they're a lost cause but I thought this one was a lost cause as well yeah but this is the third pepper plant that I tried to overwinter and some of it doesn't look very healthy so I thought maybe this one maybe I'd lost this one as well but Look at those lovely new leaves. So at least one survived. These chilli plants, they're doing okay. So I've managed to keep those alive during the winter. Obviously some of my geraniums, I've even got, still got, some flowers on the lobelia. <laughs> and those down here, these are physalis, which are the little orange fruits that come in a sort of a paper shell. Uh, I think they, some people call them a Chinese gooseberry. So uh, it takes quite a long growing season. So by the time I've grown them in the garden, by the time it comes to flowering, they don't have time to ripen up because it gets chilly. So they're going to have a good head start this year. At least a couple of plants anyway. Um, I've got the potatoes chitting over there. They've gotten a bit silly. They've only been in here for two or three days. And these, I grew these from a half of a sweet potato. It started growing shoots. They can go outside eventually, but for the time being, they're quite happy in here. So today, I'm gonna to plant some more seedlings. Oh, I've already started. Down there, I've planted a trough with sweet peas. Uh, this, it looks very sorry for itself, but it will survive. This was a beautiful hanging basket last year, but the geranium, this has been hanging in Tony's workshop, and again, didn't get much light, but it survived. And I will actually, as Tony pointed out, try to take some cuttings off of this big one, because that's doing really well. well. That's for another day. Oh, and this one here, yeah, again, very, very straggly. This is an overwintered nasturtium. And now it's out here, I think it will come back to life, hopefully. If it doesn't, I haven't lost anything. Anyway, so I've got some seeds down here that I'm going to plant in this one of these troughs I'm going to use for veggie seedlings. And the other one, which hasn't got any earth yet, I'm going to use for some flower seedlings. But this morning, I'm going to plant some salad things 
some tomato, some lettuce, some cucumber. Right, in this bed here, which is, I have my herbs at that end of the bed. Um, I've got a lily, lily plant there, I need to transplant that somewhere. Uh, I've got the celeriac in there. I've planted a couple of rows of mange too, where all those sticks are. Now, peas like to climb. So we give them lots of little trees. So all those branches that I've got in the pile came in very handy. They look a bit scruffy at the moment, but once they're covered in lovely fresh pea shoots, they'll be very pretty. And then I've planted some normal peas. These are mange too, which I can eat in salads, stir fries, just as a vegetable. I love mange too. I can add them in with other veg. And over there, you can see there's another there's another forest of twigs. These are a normal shelling pea, little Provençal, the French variety. I've planted quite a lot in there. And once they've all grown up those sticks, that's going to look really pretty as well. I can use those for pea shoots, either of those for salads, which I do quite often, pick a few shoots, and then lovely peas, and then I can save them for some seed. So I will do this as I go along. I'll show you what I'm planting. And then if I give you an update every couple of weeks, I can show you if they've sprouted. Right, in the greenhouse, I've got the plants that I overwintered indoors that I've now brought out here. So they're coming back to life. I've got some more potatoes chitting. They're gonna be planted out in some more buckets in the next few days. I have the sweet potato seedlings that I grew from just one half of a sweet potato that started sprouting. So I chopped the end off, put it on the window ledge with some water. This was before Christmas and it started sprouting. And then I pulled off the sprouts and put them in water and they grew some lovely roots. And I potted them up into a little pot, and now I've given them a big pot. Let's hope we get some sweet potatoes. I've never grown them before, so this is an experiment. I'll have some more of those over there. And then I've been planting some seeds today. I've planted two types of iceberg lettuce, a cucumber that I've saved the seeds from, from last year, a mystery tomato, <laughs> fine tomatoes that I saved that were shop bought, a standard tomato, a big tomato, that will be something I've bought from the shop again and saved. Sweet baby tomatoes, they're a packet seed. Money maker, that's another packet seed. And some mixed beetroot and some celery. So, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous in here in the greenhouse. It's lovely and warm. I've labelled all these up because if something doesn't germinate, I'm just going to get rid of what I've got left. So it's a bit of a test as well, because I've got an awful lot of seeds, especially ones I've saved. All right, I'll keep you updated. Well, after the kitchen roof was finished, there was a lot of cleaning to do. I'd dragged quite a lot of stuff out of the kitchen and dumped it all in the lounge behind the kitchen. And it was all in a bit of a muddle. Now, I'm not a great lover of cleaning. I do procrastinate, I have to admit. And then sometimes you just don't know where to start when you've trashed everything. But I thought, well, I'll put the timer on. I'll give myself an hour. And then if I've had enough of it, I will stop. But usually if I do that, put a bit of music on. And once I get started, yeah, I'm into it then. And that's exactly what happened. So we had a good old spring clean. Um, got wiped down a lot of surfaces. I did a bit of decluttering at the same time. So a few things didn't go back and hoovering mopping as you do i also cleaned all the windows up because it was so bright now from the ceiling window i cleaned the old windows up along the front as well because they needed it and so did the window sills wiped all the paintwork down and it's actually a really satisfying thing when you've done it and you've reorganized everything and it's quite calming to know that you can Use your kitchen again and you can actually find things where you expect them to be.
Well, that's looking better already. Got rid of all the dust and dirt, and uh, obviously Tony's temporarily patched up the ceiling there. And you'll all be wondering what's happening next with the kitchen. Well, the answer to that is not a lot in regards to fitting a new kitchen. Um, firstly, we're going to concentrate on replacing these windows because these are all just single glazed. Replacing the door over there where the glass in the middle broke anyway, so it's been boarded up like that. And that will actually give me even more light in here. And then Tony's got to think about replacing the ceiling. And then we've also got all the wiring is actually surface on the walls here. So we need to get John to come in and, and uh, adjust little bits of it. And then that will be boarded over. That will be inside the wall because Tony will batten this out and put a new wall on it. So that gives us a bit of extra insulation. This is going to take some time because we've got other projects on the go at the same time and we've got a busy season. Now, if you can hear that shushing noise, I'm not sure if I've ever showed anybody this bit. What's behind this door in my kitchen? Well, at the moment, it's all a bit of a mess because this is under the stone stairs that go up to the balcony. And we moved the old ballon in here, which serves the kitchen and the downstairs bathroom. As you can see, it's not very pleasant in here. So there's quite a bit of work needs to be done in here. We've almost managed to waterproof it, although we do still get a few drips coming through. So even though Tony jet washed all the steps the other day, we only had a couple of drips. So we're almost there. So we've got a little bit more protection to go on top of the stone steps then we can start to dry this out. So before we think about fitting the kitchen, Tony's got to remove all these old boiler pipes. That in the corner there goes up to a chimney that goes on the outside, but we are going to leave that in in case we ever decide that we want an extra wood burner because that's an extra chimney, but it will be boarded around. It's pretty grotty in here. We've got rotten bits above this doorway here that Tony's got to replace. But it will end up that we have a ballon, a cupboard for the ballon with the plumbing that we can access, which I can then also use for storing mops and buckets and things like that because they're just sort of chucked in here at the moment. And then I'm not sure what else to use it for. It's a serviceable space. I'd like to take this grotty old door off of the actual kitchen and incorporate it in the kitchen. So I'm thinking maybe a huge fridge freezer, American fridge freezer, what we call American fridge freezer, like the wardrobe style one, or some form of a big pantry or china cupboard, pots and pan cupboard. I don't know yet. Yeah, so it's going to take quite a while. This will be a little project for Tony to be getting on. We've got to replace this ballon. It was old when we came here we then moved it from the upstairs bathroom and everybody said oh it won't work but it has done touch wood it's kept going but now it's making this gurgly noise so we've decided if we're going to go to the trouble of having to move it anyway because it will have to go it can be lowered down and go further back into a cupboard there that Tony will build so that we get a bit more storage space. So that's the plan. So if we've got to move it anyway, we might as well invest in a new one of those because they're not super expensive. I think it's about 300 euros for a new one. And this one is probably half full up with lime because we get very hard water here. Anyway, so this will be an ongoing project. It's not, I'm not suddenly going to get a new kitchen. So for the time being, I'm just cleaning it up and putting things back where I know I can access them. And uh, we'll take it from there. Once all the building work, like the ceiling, the walls, electrics, and this cupboard here, once all this is sorted out, then I can do a proper floor plan and plan out my kitchen. I'm quite good at that. I shall enjoy doing that. Anyway, I thought I'd give it an hour. My hour's not quite up yet. So I'll carry on with the cleaning. And see how far I get. 
Well, I think my battery ran out for the last bit, but I've just gone just over an hour. And it's looking a whole lot better than it was. And I can now find things and use my kitchen again. I know it's not the prettiest kitchen, but it's got a lot of stuff in it. But yeah, I'm pleased with what I managed to get done in an hour. So I had quite a good old spring clean at the same time. Yeah, I didn't I didn't pull the shelf apart. I've I've given it a quick flick over and dusted it and obviously I've hoovered underneath it and mopped. So that will be another task for another day. Right, I've cleaned all the surfaces down, got rid of dust and cobwebs and bits of grit and all excellent I'm pleased with that. Tony worked very hard again with that jet wash. And it's all looking a lot cleaner out there. And it's also a lot cleaner in my kitchen and it feels lovely to know where things are and to be able to use it. So thank you all for watching. There's still lots to think about for the kitchen, so that'll be an ongoing project. And also Tony's got some new jobs at the Chateau coming up. So if you want to see all that and you haven't, then please subscribe and click the notification bell and then you'll get a message when the new videos come out. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you for my coffees. And someone even bought me a birthday cake as opposed to buy me a coffee. They bought me a cake. So thank you very much for that. You know who you are. If you'd like to support us by buying a coffee, I'll put the link in the description as normal. And I'll put the QR code on, on the screen here for you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And come back and see us soon. Amianto.